Okay, welcome to the first episode of Basic Bitch DIY. I'm your host, Basic Bitch Becky. We've got our Basic Bitch beverage. So this series is gonna be for all the ladies that you just don't have a man, whether you just don't want one, can't find one, they're a freaking unicorn and you don't know where they are. They might not even exist. But do you ever feel like home repair companies, like they just take advantage of you as a woman and they treat you like you're an idiot and they try to overcharge you because you don't know what you're doing? Well, so this series is for you guys. So for me, I've had such bad experiences with these companies. They take advantage of me, like they treat me like I'm stupid. And two, if it's something I think I can do myself, I'm too stubborn to call somebody. And another thing is, I'm kind of too cheap to pay people to do this that I can do myself. So today we're actually gonna be changing a hot water heater element. So I've had like no hot water for two days and this has been absolutely miserable. Try taking a cold shower when it's not that hot outside yet. I mean, no. It's like 70 degrees, no, I don't wanna jump in a pool right now. That's what it feels like, no. So, a couple of things we're gonna have for this is, first of all, anytime you're working with tools, you always wanna have safety glasses. So, these are our trusty safety glasses. So, you always wanna pick safety glasses that are super stylish. I mean, look at these. How would you not go on a date with me if I was wearing these? I mean, that's hot, right? Okay, so, got safety glasses. We're gonna use a an ohm meter. I'm filming a DIY video. <laughs> You're gonna want this is a Phillips head, but really you can use a flathead if it calls for a Phillips head because it's just basically like a Phillips head just for like the little crisscross screws. But I mean, you can fit a flathead in there just fine, just from my experience. And so this thing is called a water heater screw in element wrench. And so these things are like kind of shoved up in there in the water heater and you can't really get to them. So this kind of like, it's shaped like a hexagon. So you're gonna like put this end on against the element and you're gonna basically put this screwdriver down in here and get a little bit of leverage and you're gonna turn it counterclockwise to loosen it. That'd be lefty-loosey. And that's gonna get your heating element out. Um, you have like two different choices. So you've got um, a high density and you've got a low density. I think that's what it's called. Um, or it's like ultra low density or something like that. But this is the ultra low density. It basically kind of, it makes like a big horseshoe shape and it wraps, the, it wraps back around itself and this is for like people that have like a lot of um, lime and stuff in their water and it just kind of cakes or calcium deposits and it's just going to kind of cake on your element over time and trip your breakers. Listen at me, I sound like a pro and I really don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying to figure it out. It's just your regular high density element and um, I think basically the way this works, it's going to heat up quicker and heat your water up quicker but it burns out quicker over time. And this one's gonna be, um, this one's gonna last longer and be more efficient over time. So I think you can use two different ones. I'm just gonna go ahead and change out both of them, I think. You wanna look super cute. Like, I don't know if you guys can see me. I'll step back a little bit. So like you wanna wear like a cute top so you can look cute on video. Pair of cute shorts. And I've got wedges on because who doesn't want to look cute when you're doing house repair? Okay, so I want to take a quick little survey. So I think it is so sexy when a guy will like cook and clean, be self-sufficient. I want to know and leave a comment down below. Do you guys think when women at least look cute and try to fix stuff around the house, is that attractive to them or is it kind of butch and manly? I mean, I'm trying to make this look cute. I don't have a man to do this stuff for me. So, I mean, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. I'm resourceful. This is either gonna go really well or really terrible, and I'm gonna have to call somebody to fix this stuff, because I don't know. I act like I know what I'm doing, but I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, 
I mean, it seems pretty straightforward. I think it, I don't know. All the women, independent, throw your hands up at me. Yeah, women, let's go. I'm not a singer, but I think I am in my head. So while we're waiting on the water tank to drain, let's talk about how basic Starbucks is. So this is an iced chai tea because I can't have coffee because I might die. No, for real, like I'm allergic and it sends me into like for real SVT. And that makes me more anxious and that speeds my heart rate up even more and it's just, if you only realized how miserable it is to have to live life without being able to drink coffee. All right, so one of the first things you're gonna actually wanna do is shut off your power. We wanna be safe here, so we don't want any electrocution, so find your electrical panel box. My house was built in the 1950s, so I have like three boxes. Actually, what you should do, you should label what everything is. Mine are not labeled, so I had to shut off every single breaker, and that's just how it's gonna be. So always label your stuff so you'll know what's what. So I've got all the breakers turned off. So what I've done here, I've hooked the water hose up. It's kind of blurry to this little um, connector piece at the very bottom of the tank, and we're gonna drain our water tank. And quit being blurry, dang it. So you've got this little kind of screw with a slit in it, and we're gonna turn it about a quarter turn to the left, and that's just gonna loosen it up and let the water flow out. So we're gonna let this tank drain. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take, but we'll go do something else while it's draining. Dan, this has been draining like for the last three hours. I don't know how much water is in this tank. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I mean, I really don't know what I'm doing, but I don't know. Let's just ask Google. Let's look it up. Changing a hot water heater. How to change a hot water element. Okay. Okay, so it says first turn off the power, then turn off turn off the water from the street. Well, let me go run and do that real quick. Maybe that's why the water's not draining all the way out. I'm, I'm okay. Okay, so we're gonna go on a little adventure in our uh, heels. Got the lights turned out, so we're just gonna kind of pray to Jesus. There's no snakes in here. Hook valve is for your, so you always wanna make sure you know where your cutoff valve is for your water from that you can turn off from the street. There's two options. You can either like go in your yard or whatever and open up the little manhole thing and um, take a big wrench and turn it off that way. But every house should actually have like a water shut off somewhere in your house. Sometimes it's underneath your kitchen sink, bathroom. If you have like a basement downstairs, it might be um, like underneath your house, which mine is. My, I have like a brick style rancher house. And um, so it's actually inside my dirt cellar or basement, whatever you want to call it. Um, so you have to like crawl under the dirt. It's dis absolutely disgusting. Um, so that's where I have to go to turn my water off. So let's check this guy. Ooh. I'm back. So you basically want to kind of create like a gradient. A gradient. Listen to me, I sound like I'm from Tennessee. Oh wait, I am. But I try to hide my accent. Um, basically you want to create like a gradient so it, the water will work by gravity and gravity is your friend and the tank will drain faster. Why are you guys even watching this? I don't even know. Just bear with me. So once we get the, um, the water completely drained out because we don't want to make a mess and when we pull it out there's gonna, probably going to be a little bit of water and a little bit of mess on the floor but I think it will evaporate or it should, whatever. So we're basically going to unscrew the water elements. Always make sure your water's actually cut off so it's actually going to drain and not just continuously keep draining. So this right here is called an ohm meter. I don't know if that's what it's really called. I just like to say ohm meter. I think it's like a multimeter or a voltage meter too. So I've just got this really like cheap one. This is Klein Tools, I guess. So we're basically want to we're basically gonna wanna like check our voltage on our um, 
heating elements and I think you want it between like 10 and 16 somewhere around there so you're basically gonna take you're gonna flip it to like 200 you want it at the lowest amount of ohms you can get so the lowest I have is 200 so we're gonna flip it there and if you can see that that's what it looks like so it's like 200 and we're basically just gonna put these little things in the screws and check our voltage or ohms or I don't know what it's called so let me see if I can hold my camera so we're basically gonna like test these two screws there we can see that and right this one's reading 12.913 so this one's actually saying it's good and I think this is the hot water element it might not be I don't know I might just see if I can replace both of them and this one up here is usually the cold water one and it's not reading anything I don't really know what that means see I've got that there and we're not reading anything so it looks like that's actually the bad element but I don't understand if that one's bad why do I not have hot water because I think this is the cold water element and the one below is going to be the hot water element I'll have to google it one thing I've actually learned is to always take a picture before you change anything that way you can actually remember how to put it back because I've done plenty of home repairs and I couldn't remember which wire went to what screw or whatever. I've done this before with my dad. He helped me out on this. So, but I have to take a picture. He knows what he's doing. I don't, I'm not, he's not helping me on this one. I'm trying to do this by myself because I think it would make a really funny video. So, um, and I hope it works. I really do because I love this kind of stuff. Like, I'm such, like, a little tom girl. Like, I love to be, like, cute and pretty. And I love to, like, just, like, not really get dirty, but, like, I'm not afraid to, like, break a nail. I guess if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take a picture so we'll know how to put it back. And I need to hurry this video up because it's getting dark. And I'm not going to be able to see turning the water back on. And I'm probably going to fall and break an ankle wearing these heels. Because I would. Okay, so we've got this. I don't know if all water heaters are the same or not, but mine is a Whirlpool, and I have a yellow wire on the left and a blue wire on the right. So I don't know, like, what... If it's going to be the same for all of them. Oh, shoot. Remember how I said you don't need a Phillips screwdriver? I think I might. I'll be right back. <laughs> well, I couldn't find my Phillips, so I've just got this. Every woman needs in her toolbox a freaking electric drill. I don't know about you guys, but I know how to handle a drill. Run it up with you got a little screwdriver in here and we're gonna unscrew this and hopefully not make water go all over my basement okay we're gonna turn we're just gonna unscrew this ah! oh, all the water's not out oh my god this is free get in there oh my god <laughs> flooded the basement. Oh shit. I thought there was something wrong. <laughs> yeah, water spilled everywhere. Do you have anything valuable in any of these boxes? Well, what had happened was basic bitch Becky thought all the water was drained from the water heater. And <laughs> now my basement's flooded. So tomorrow I will be moving all this stuff out of here and using my shop bag to get all the water out. Yes, see this is what makes it fun. On this episode of Basic Bitch DIY, we learned how not to flood your basement. One, 
Make sure your hose is still draining and screwed on all the way. I thought the tank was drained. It was not. Now my basement's flooded. But it's nighttime and there's nothing I can do about it, so I'm just gonna leave the door open. It's a hot mess anyways, I need to clean it, so tomorrow I'm gonna be shop backing. <laughs> that might be another episode. How to shop back. I mean, I can use a vacuum cleaner, I can use a shop bag, right? So we've replaced the elements, now we're gonna go kind of turn on the faucets indoors and that's gonna kind of vent all the air that's in the system now. And we're gonna turn the water back on and hopefully we'll have hot water again. All right, success! Thanks for joining me on Basic Bitch DIY. Tune in next time and we're gonna be turning an old chest of drawers from drab to fab. I single. I have no idea.